how are they currently feeling about you and your connection of what is going on what do you need to know how do they currently feel in today's tarot card reading Gonna split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Down this side is you. Welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. Down this side is them. I'm a tarot card reader from England and my name is Angie and I do do private readings. They're always available or I try and make sure that they're always available. Um, so... Oh, who's in the middle of you both? I don't know why I'm singing. Who's in the middle of you both? Who has been in the middle of you both? Who's been causing problems for you both? Feels like their ex or maybe your ex, someone ex. Because we have the Queen of Swords reversed in the middle of you both in the recent past anyway. Um, and that, that energy's still there and that energy's caused problems. Now the Queen of Swords, when she's reversed, she's a little bit intimidating. She's revengeful, she's spiteful, she wants what she wants. If she doesn't get what she wants, she kind of tears everyone down. You had the King of Cups, so you know that your person loves you. You know that your person loves you so much. They love you so much. Honestly, there's so much love here. I can't say it enough. Don't let this Queen of Swords reversed have their own way because they're horrible. They're not a nice person. So, the Ten of Cups in the recent past for your person, and it's reversed, so it's telling me that this Queen of Swords is the ex of your person. I don't know if you were directly... Res I don't think you were responsible for breaking up their relationship. But for whatever reason, this Queen of Swords is totally blaming you. They can't blame your person. They can't blame themselves. So they're blaming you. And it kind of feels like they were not together for quite a long time. But you're still getting the blame. Um, maybe they should have worked on their relationship. And there would have been... Things would have been better for them. But they didn't, did they? This Queen of Swords reverse did not try to work on a relationship. It feels like they're just full of anger and hatred and bitterness. Um, and your person was very unhappy until you came along. You've got the Seven of Cups reversed at the moment, so you're a little bit confused of what's going on here. The, the ex is causing all of the problems. You, you know there's options here. You know that your person loves you, but at the moment it feels quite heavy. It feels like quite foggy and hazy and and you get kind of swept up in the emotions and the feelings. Your person's trying to do their best. With the Knight of Wands, they've got a lot of passion for you, a lot of desire. You're giving them that fighting spirit, and they're also trying to relocate, um, kind of movement somewhere. Uh, in the middle is still the Queen of Swords energy. I would take it as a second Queen of Swords if there was two in a the deck. They're fighting. This Queen of Swords is fighting fighting and they're both they're both knights at the moment so they're both kind of it feels like your person's putting their foot down and going no I'm moving away I'm moving on I'm not doing this anymore you're not holding back but again the queen of swords has got their their attention on you they're they're convinced that everything's all your fault but it isn't they're to blame for their own situation these people have not been together for such a long time why can't your person move on with you, you know? You show them love and respect. Something the Queen of Swords reverse hasn't done ever, I don't think. Feels like it was quite a controlling, manipulative situation. Whether they're male or female, um, it's about that characteristic. It's not about the gender, you know. <sighs> I feel sorry for your person. I can see why. They've, they've, it feels like they've been living in misery for so long. And then here you are. And it feels like, wow, you know, anyway, you're moving on to the sun. Things will get better if you are of an age of thinking about having a family that that may work out for you in one way or another. Uh, you know, I don't like to predict these things, but there's a motherly kind of parenting role. Now, that could be with pets, plants, your own kids, other people's kids, grandchildren, work you know it's caring for other people and being really fulfilled by it 
Um, there's lots of growth, lots of abundance, a really happy relationship. And then we have the strength for them, for your person, which is love, compassion. They appreciate how kind you are to them. They honestly can't believe that someone's actually kind. They, I think they kind of got stuck in the thing of every relationship is toxic and every partner is abusive. And you're, it's like a saviour. You've come in and saved this person and shown them that there's true love out there and shown them that there's respect out there. And that's really nice. And it just made me feel really emotional. Um, and then we've got the six of coins reversed in the middle of both. Now, it's normally the connecting energy down here, but I'm taking it as the queen of swords reversed energy. They're going to lose their power and their control so they can get off my table, really. They can get out of the reading. There's going to be a closing down of communication. This Queen of Swords reverse is not going to get the money that they want to get. They're being completely unrealistic. You know, <laughs> they just are. That's just how they are, isn't it? So that's what I have for you. Things are going to get better. Your person currently loves you so much. They're so lucky to have met you. And I hope that you feel that as well. I hope that there's good things here for you. This Queen of Swords has got bags of energy and it's going to be a while but their power they don't have any power here they can have as many temper tantrums as they want there's no power here because your person can't be manipulated by them anymore so i'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so you don't need to take you any way thank you so much for being here with me today if this was your reading let me know in the comments i'd like to know the right people have got the right reading if you've made it this far you know, part of my secret Purple Heart gang. I think you're amazing. Uh, it's Tuesday today. Um, yes, the web is so much nicer than it was last week. Last week we were in the depths of winter. And this week we're kind of in spring. I think cold weather is coming again. And then hopefully we're going to have, you know, sometimes at Easter we have like a mini heat wave. It looks like this Easter is going to be in the middle of winter. So let me know what season it is where you are in the world. Let me know where you are in the world. I'm in England. I live in a little seaside town. I live about a 20-minute walk away from the beach. I don't go there often enough. I should make the most of it. Um, yeah, I used to go walking down there at least, at least once a week when the kids were little. I'd take them out with their buckets and they used to collect things along the seashore. That's what happens when you have adult children. They don't want to do anything. Well, they've got their own lives, you know. They don't, you know, they've got their own lives. So let me know, kind of what kind of area do you live in? If you went out for a walk from your house, if you left your house today and went for a walk, what, is it into a woods? Is it around, a, you know, a, a housing area? Is it to a park? Is it to a beach? Um... Would you have to get in your car and drive somewhere to go for a walk? Um, so, yeah, let me know. Because I'm interested. I like to know who's watching and what your lives are like and everything. I've kind of rearranged my diary a bit. So I only do private readings three days a week. And it leaves me four days a week to upload more for you guys. Because I miss connecting with you. So there's that. I miss sitting down and talking. So it's been really nice the last few days to be able to sit here and do this. And I really appreciate you being here and listening. And if you've made it this far, put a little tree emoji in the comments and I will know. And I'll see you soon.